Hi, this is Jason Margolis, a reporter with PRI's The World. I chose to go to Las Vegas for a reporting trip because Nevada is a crucial swing state. And the Latino population, as well as portions of the Asian American population, are growing rapidly. And I wanted to check in with them and see how they're feeling about the election. Well, I arrived late at night, I believe on a Sunday, and the first thing I did that Monday morning is I went and met seven Filipino Americans for coffee. We have been trying for years to get our Filipinos together. That was one of the issues. We talked about the fact that they need to be better organized. Oh, yeah, I'm not running for office. <laughs> they have the numbers to deserve political attention, but they don't have the organization yet to merit that attention. Por eso es well, Latinos, their numbers are significant in Nevada. However, they're not voting their weight. People are just not enticed to come out and vote. They haven't had an issue that's forced them to go to the polls. However, the harsher that the candidates are speaking out against the Latinos... Some are saying and, with and, and, um, and more harsh else. rhetoric around immigration reform, which they feel targets them, that maybe they will start voting their numbers. Not so much in favor of someone, uh, in this case, uh, the re-election of uh, President Obama, but against the Republican candidate. I try to think about people listening to this in Seattle or Cleveland or Boston. Why would they care about something going on in Las Vegas? First of all, you have the, you have the bonus that people are just inherently interested in Las Vegas. You have that working for you. But secondly, Americans should care about these stories because we are a quickly changing society by our demographics. And I think we need to hear real voices of people out there and what matters to them because they are us. We are a quickly changing society and the demographics in Nevada really reflect what the new America is becoming.